got actually we got the front I got the front done all screwed in the tin cover on I don't know why they had it, it was just for backing up I guess and I went ahead and got both side walls all screwed in it's pretty good coming right along I went ahead and got the roof torn off I went back to the seam I think I'm gonna go to this wall and run a seam on that wall there in the corner we're gonna run run a seam on the roof right up through here all the way across and that's what we're down, doing down here down here off this ladder and uh, this paneling only bends one way it bends really easy this direction but not not that way and that's good because that's the way that the grain matches up with the grain on the walls all the walls go up and down so this will just continue right up from the walls and up and over the up and over the roof I had to use two pieces of paneling I stained one I haven't got the other one stained yet but I had a heck of a time getting this figured out here but it's gonna work out I had to bevel actually bevel the uh, paneling here so that when it goes up in the seam with a small overlap so when it goes up in the seam up in here that when the board fits in here the board will fit here and then the paneling will fit flush here but I had to bevel it so that it would the seam would match really nice nice tight seam right on the, the edge there and that'll work out really nice I had to measure I say measure twice and cut once well I measured I measured about 10 times before I finally got this in place and beveled you can see where I got it beveled this is where it fits on the board up on the top and then the little bevel piece and then a little lip right inside of there so that it overhangs and then this beveled edge will just sit really nice right on the inside you'll hardly even tell that there's a seam there so I got it all glued in place that was the main one once I get that one glued in place and I can go ahead and I'll measure out where the window is going to go the window frame and I'll, and I'll cut it out and I had to wait on this board till I get her in place so that's where we're at now we keep going okay here we are Buffalo Bob again we're we're gaining on this thing I went ahead and uh, sat this uh, tin back up here the front cover because uh, I wanted to pre-fit everything make sure everything was going to fit right so I got the front finally up here I just got the window sat in here it's just barely sat in here to make sure that the tin is going to fit around the window so I can pull it up far enough and make sure everything's going to fit down here where they seam together and like I said we're working on the roof right now I just got done insulating this stuff here I put these little blocks in there actually what they had was just pieces of plywood that was stacked together so it conform a little better but I didn't like the way it nailed in there so I wanted a nice solid piece all the way up and over so I'm making the short little pieces and gluing them in that way it's going to have something nice and strong and everything to tack up when we go back together here I'm just trying to like I said align the, the front here I got a little pulley system set up up here that I run down the front of the tin to hold it up 
why I could why I stuck it in there because it's got a little lip on there. At this bottom piece here fits into the tin and a little lip right there. And you got to make sure that's stuck in there as far as you can get it. So I got it in there on this corner and screwed it in place. And I did the same for the other side. It, it looks like it's going to match up pretty good. There's not much of a overhang, so you really got to watch it. Because if I don't pull this up tight enough, then the window doesn't match up. So as long as I keep that tight and pull it up, and then I got to make sure the top two corners on the tin are even on the sides, then we'll be ready to go. So that's where we're at now. I'm going to, right now I'm going to finish cutting these two for the other side and put them in. And then I'll probably cut two more for up here. And then, uh, then I'll have to go back here and see exactly where my ladder system here fits for where the vent goes. I'm not going to put in a vent, but I'm going to have the frame in there. So if somebody wants to later on cut a hole in the roof and put one in, it'll make it a hell of a lot easier. Anyway, this will come up here. I gotta match that up here to the end. And then probably drill that and glue it and screw it. And then insulate it. That's where we're at now. Just keep going and going. Can't think of anything that I really want to mention right now. This tin, the way it comes up, it comes up here. You gotta. It's kind of hard to hold and do this. You gotta watch where this little lip on the tin fits right over the little lip on the board there, and that's what tucks it in underneath the window on the bottom. So, but just keep going. And here's the insulation down there. Okay, so this is Buffalo Bob. We're still working on it. And, uh, okay, we'll see what happens. Rate, subscribe, and share. Okay, well now we're just waiting for the glue to dry. I went ahead and glued the last couple rafters on. Got some clamps on here and boards holding them. But we got it all glued in place. And then I'm going to go back and screw the end here and screw it all down to the to the top of the roof here. But right now we're letting her dry. I've already figured out where the wire is going. Had to pre-drill a couple of holes on the side of the roof on the board there. But uh, that's where we're at now. We're just letting her dry. I think I'm going to come down here and work a little bit on this uh, on the front here. It's got a little bit of a little bit of lip here, and I'm not sure what quite what I did here. If I measured wrong or what, but I'm just going to blend this off a little bit to smooth this edge down here all the way along the whole lip here. I got I got part of it started on the other side here. You can see where where she is now. She's pretty flush. Got her nice and rounded. And all I had to do is just trim up the top here a little bit. And I'm getting as you can see the whole edge. I'm not going to do it completely to the edge of the lip, but I'm going to go about right here, which is a little bit farther. And I originally measured, and that's because it's got a little, it's got a lip right here on the tin. And the way the tin works, this lip right here will be centered right on here, so that lip will actually conform a little bit to this before it goes to the window seal right up here. So. 
We'll let that finish drying and maybe I'll sand a little bit here on the front. We're getting close to putting this thing up. Up the bottom. Still at it. Okay. Getting up on the ladder here so we can see what's going on. Couple of bob. Still at it. Um, I got the roof all trimmed where I'm going to seam it up together. Got a couple of boards I'm going to put on top for the last piece. Got her all glued and screwed and filed a little bit. Can form the edges a little better. I went ahead and got this filed down somewhat so it's not quite as bad as a lip as it was. I got the uh, window braces in place. I got the. Right now I'm going to go ahead and uh, I think I'll have to get down here. I think I took the insulation out here like I did the other side still in there but I took it out so I can re what I'm going to do now is restain it. Restain the whole damn thing. And then put the insulation back in and then we'll be up at the top, almost done, up there. So I'm going to go ahead and get this stained. And uh, that's the name of that. Looking pretty good though.